And just like that, B-Sen's game was very exciting. So far this postseason in Section 4, we've seen an overtime thriller for Oneonta in the Stack Championship game. And, you know, and we've seen the home team be very, very dominant early on in the Section 4 tournament. They've won 9 out of the first 11 contests. But would that trend continue tonight? Home team Binghamton with a 10-point lead over UE at halftime. And we'll pick this one up in the third quarter off the rebound. It's a good effort from Katie Vinio. One dribble and a kiss off the glass brings her team within eight. And the Tigers just aren't going to go away. But then it's something special from the Patriots. She has Katie a lot of points, Cunin, A ton of points. That three is the shot clock expired. Eric. Part of a big night for her. She joined the 1,000-point club and is in the Binghamton High School record books forever. She finished with 18 on the night. And they get the win. Nope, it wouldn't be enough for the Patriots. There's Vinnie again with another strong two, and her Tigers go on to win 63-58. Binghamton's run is Section 4 champ. Eric, it's over. A bit of an upset there. Seeing Catholic Central hosting Norwich in the Class B semifinal matchup. First quarter and... The Purple Tornado get going. Jennifer Borfitz takes it all the way to the rack for two, and Norwich goes up by two early on in this one. But the Saints go marching in, and they find themselves in the paint. Lauren Miller gets the roll, and Seton Catholic inches ahead here. That lead would keep on growing. This time, she is very, very tall, and she is heading to Stony Brook in the fall. Angelica Hauer with the spin and hook shot. Monster night from her. Triple-double, 23 points, 15 boards. And blocks. Rivaling Cunin over there a little bit. 48-36. And in Class A, the Golden Bears hosting the Indians and up big early in the first. Vestal showing full court passing skills. Annie Ulrich for the layup that extends the Golden Bears lead to nine. And with time winding down in the quarter, Sierra Bodnar dribbles it in and gets the buzzer beater. And the Indians make it 15-6 to six after one. And then second quarter action, more Vestal. Alyssa Mullins. Finds Molly Liss and the Golden Bears hold on for the one-point win. An exciting game there, too, behind Jen Shelps' 16 points. Up next, the main Enwell Spartans for the Class A crown on Friday. Guess what, Eva? Great games. We're not done. Class C quarters. The Unitigo Spartans entering the Tiger Den out in, two week, out in, out in Tioga. No score halfway through the first. Robin Foster changes that here, and it's 2-0 in favor of the Spartans. Unitigo still rolling. Kayla Talbot from downtown, and Unitigo opens up the quarter on an 8-2 run. In that second, the Tigers start to scratch their way, maybe claw their way back. Emily Schweiger here finds Hannah Manwaring, and that puts the Tigers up a touchdown, but Unitigo comes on and takes this one by 10. They advance to the Class B semifinals too. And Eric, a very full slate tonight. Lots of other games going on in Section 4, and... The only close one really was Southern Cayuga defeating Marathon by three points. And, I mean, check out these games. We have a full slate coming up Saturday, a full slate coming up Thursday. It's going to be some very exciting basketball. And in Class C four. right there between Bainbridge, Guilford, and Elmira, Notre Dame, that is not a typo. The Notre Dame, uh, they go on to win 42-6. to six. Then they'll play Harpersville, who beat Unadilla Valley 53-51. In Class AA, Ithaca, and uh, in Class B, Oneana, all with big wins, moving on into the playoffs. So some very exciting stuff. Uh, it's my favorite time of the night. Let's start with the play of the night. Goes none other than the Patriots' Katie Cunin. She's done it her whole career, and she did it tonight with 18 points. That's three of her 1,000 in the career. Uh, BHS would fall to UA in the game, but Katie Cunin, congratulations on scoring 1,000 big ones in a Patriot game. And you know something, Eric? It is not just always all about the offense. So let's check out our stop of the night. We go back to Vestal, and that is a nice stop from Molly Liss on Oligo Shannon Hilliker. I mean, you can watch it so over quick, and over and over again. Exactly. I mean, that shot had no chance. What a play. Our stop of the night. And Eric, what a full day. It's been basketball. a great night of Section 4 basketball. Let's not forget about the B-Sens either. A great, great win as we close out the full court press. We've got a big slate of games tomorrow, but with the fellas. Yep, the boys will finally be at center stage tomorrow, so make sure you tune in, and we'll have more B-Sens too. We'll do it again, but tomorrow's show will be all men, and that'll do it for sports. How was it for your first full court press? It was a lot of fun. I had a great time. All right, let's walk this thing off. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. Good night, everybody.